In today's workout, we have two sets of work, and in each set, there are four exercises. We're gonna have an active rest in between, so that gives you the opportunity to kind of rest and catch your breath again before we go into the next exercise. So let's start in with set one. So we're gonna treat the first round like it's a warm up. so just kind of move at your own pace here. We're gonna start with a squat and a reach to the side. Nice squat down, reaching up to the side, checking in with your squat. Make sure you can see your big toes here. If you can't, adjust your stance so you don't hurt yourself. And during this first round, we're gonna treat this like a warm up. So maybe you take it a little bit slower. You don't have to squat very low here. We're just warming the body up. Breathing here. And after this move, we're going to come into a side to side step. We're going to take that side to side step in between each block of work. And that's going to be your active rest. So that's your opportunity to catch your breath. We're coming there in three, two, and one side to side step. Take what you need from this. If you want to really tone it down, catch your breath, go for it. This is your workout. And again, we're just warming up here. Breathing through it. Nice job. This will be the active rest move for the whole set one. So when I say we're coming to active rest, this is what you're gonna do. Excellent job. We're almost ready to come into our second move in this set. In three, two, one, we're gonna come into either a modified jack, we're gonna do four of these, and we're gonna do a little baby squat and a little jump. So four of these, three, four, little baby squat, and you can add a little jump if you want to. Excellent. You can always take it up a notch if you want and do full jumping jacks. And you can always take out that jump as well if you need a little lower impact. Remember, we're still warming up here. So you're just gonna listen to your body. I showed you all the options. Now when we do the next round, you pick what you need from this. We're gonna come back to that active rest very soon in three, two, and one. Nice job. Back to that side to side step. Take some nice deep breaths here. <sighs> Catch your breath again. A few more moments here. Then we're gonna come into some high knee twists. Still warming up, so maybe keeping your pace a little bit slower for this round, almost there, in three two, and one, excellent job. Arms up, meeting your knee here. Coming as close as you can. If this is too difficult, just lift your knee up a little bit. It doesn't have to be super high. But the whole time, I want you to concentrate on your core. So if you can go a little faster, we wanna warm that body up so your muscles are nice and loose and warm when we go into round two. And in round two, we're not gonna hold back. We're gonna go as fast as we can. Breathing here, contracting your core each time you're lifting your knee up. And again, if you're here, there's nothing wrong with that. That's great. Breathe, still warming up. So we're not moving at 100% intensity right now. Breathing here. And don't forget, we always get that active rest in between. So you know you have a moment to catch your breath again before we come into the next exercise. We're almost there. A few more seconds. In three, two, and one. Great job. Back to that side to side step. Should be starting to feel a little bit warm now. If you're not, then just pick it up just a little bit here, even in this side to side step. You can pick up your pace you can move your arms a little bit more. The more you move, the more you burn. Excellent. 
few more moments here, breathing through it. Next, we're gonna come in to a step back, a long step back, almost there. In three, two, I'm gonna stand to the side so you can see what I'm doing, and one. So here you're gonna step back, and you're gonna bring your knee up. Step it back, bring your knee up. Once you have the move, you can move a little bit faster. Pumping your arms for some speed here. And then, if you want to add a little bit extra intensity to this, you can always add in a little hop. Step it back, hop it up. Again, still warming up, not necessary. You can keep it low impact for the whole workout and still get a great sweat on. Excellent job. Almost there. Breathing, sweating, and smiling. In three, two, and one. Great job. We're gonna take a water break and then we're gonna come right back and keep repeating. Okay, we're ready for round two. Let's come right into that squat and reach. This time you're warm, muscles are all set. You're feeling nice and warm, nice and sweaty. So we're gonna pick it up just a little bit here. Maybe you can drop your butt down a little bit lower in this squat, move a little bit faster. But again, you wanna check in with your breath. And if you couldn't possibly say a couple of words, then tone it down, slow it down. Just work at your maximum here. The key is don't stop moving. If you need to slow it down, that's okay, but just keep moving, okay? Remember, you don't have to squat as deep. Squat could be here, little squat, and that's okay. But if you wanna pick it up, you can squat down, move as fast as you can. Remember, we get that active rest after this. So that gives you a little bit more drive to get through this move, almost there in three, two, and one. Great job. Woo! I'm feeling sweaty now. Nice job. Side to side step. Even in the side to side step, this is an active rest. I want you to take from it what you need. But if you're still not very winded, not very tired, you can move a little faster here. Pump those arms, tap side to side, do a little dance, whatever works for you. Breathe through it. Take this rest, just don't stop moving, okay? If you need to tone it down, that's fine. We're almost there. And we're gonna come in to those four jumping jacks. So you can do the modified jack or the full jack with a little squat or squat hop, whichever you prefer. We're almost there in three, two, and one. Modified jack is here, we're doing four. Coming into a little squat, the little hop. Or you can do the full jumping jack for four with the little squat hop. You pick the intensity here. I'm just gonna show you all the options. I'm gonna work at your maximum. Just keep moving. If the little squat hop is a little too much for you, just leave that out. Just do a little squat. Nothing wrong with that. Great job. Breathe through it. Almost there. You got this. We're in this together. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Back to that side to side step. That one gets the heart rate pumping. Take some nice deep breaths here. Breathe it in. And exhale. Nice job. Don't forget, use this rest the way you need. So if you're really tired right now, tone it down. Just keep moving. So if you stop, it's like you have to start from scratch all over again, tell your body you're restarting a workout, then you have to do a warm up again. So we don't wanna stop. Nice job. A few more seconds here. Then we're gonna come back to those high knee twists. 
free through it in three, two, and one. Here we go. Don't hold back this time. Move at your maximum. You do not have to follow the same pace as me. Listen to your body. If it's a little too difficult to bring the knee up that high, bring it as high as you can. Concentrate on your core. Each time you lift those knees, think about the core. Squeeze. Can you pick it up just a little bit here? Breathe through it. Excellent. Don't forget to smile. Almost there. You got this. Dig deep here. Dig. Can you go a little faster? If you want more intensity, you can add a little hop to this. But again, totally optional. Still working hard, even if we have a very low impact workout. I'm sweating, almost there. In three, two, and one. Side to side step, breathe. And exhale. Nice job, breathe it in. And exhale. Use this rest to recover. Catch your breath again so that you can go full tilt during the next move. Nice work. We're gonna come in to that step back with the high knee or the hop. We're gonna use the other leg this time that you used last time. In three, two, and one. I'll stand to the side so you can see what I'm doing. Tap it back, high knee up. Once you have the move, you can add in some speed here. You can turn it in to a single leg hop if you want a little more intensity. Remember, we get a water break after this, so you can dig deeper here. Excellent job. Mix and match. If you want to, if you need to, you can tone it down. Just keep moving. Squeezing your core, squeezing those abs. Nice job. Options here for everyone. Nice job. Breathe through it. We're almost there. You got this. Let's go. In three, two, and one. Nice job. Grab some water. we're all set for our third and final round of set one so let's bring it into those squats and reach don't hold back here it's the last time you have to do this move so maybe you can go a little bit faster here a little bit harder but if not don't forget you always have the option to do a little shallow squat here shallow squat with a tap you can always tone it down if you need to just keep moving that's my only rule well, maybe keep smiling too, that's a good one. Two rules, breathe, nice work. You got this. Remember why you showed up, you put this video on. Breathe through it. Nice. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There's gonna be all kinds of new beginner content coming out shortly. Breathe through it. There's yoga and stretches as well, which is really nice to do after a workout. Almost there. In three, two, and one. Active rest. Here we go. Side to side step. Nice job. Keep moving here. Use this rest to catch your breath again. Take some deep breaths. Breathe it in. And exhale. If you need to tone it down, that's okay. Just don't stop moving. Breathe. Excellent job. We're gonna be coming in to those four jumping jacks with the two little squat jumps in three, two, and one. Let's go. Tap it out for four. Bring it down and up for two. Tap it out for four. 
Maybe you can pick up the pace here a little bit, or maybe you want to try the full jumping jacks. You can always leave out that jump and just do a squat. Nice job. You decide what you're going to do. Work at your maximum. Breathe through it. We're almost there. Get an active rest after this to catch your breath again. Breathe. Three, two, and one. Back to that side to side step. Nice job. Take some nice deep breaths here. We really want to recover before we go to the next move. So you can go 100% in your high knee twists. Breathe in and exhale. Breathe it in and blow it out. One more moment here. Breathe it in and exhale. Nice work. Let's come back to those high knee twists in three, two, and one. Here we go. Don't hold back here. Working at your maximum. Thinking about your core the whole time. Squeeze. Lifting those knees up, driving them up as high as you can. Have the option to add a little bit of a hop here if you want more intensity. Again, not necessary. If that's not for you today, you can still get a great workout, keeping it low impact. Excellent job. This workout is designed for anybody that maybe is new to working out or maybe it's been a while. You can take this however you need it. Excellent job. Almost there. If you want more impact, we add in the hop. In three, two, one. Back to that side to side step. Breathe here. And exhale. Nice work. Breathe it in. And exhale. Who's sweaty? I'm sweaty. We're working hard here. All right. A few more breaths here. And exhale. We're going to come back into that tap back with the high knee or the single leg hop. In three, two, and one. Here we go. Tap it back, bring it up. Tap it back, bring it up. Once you have the move, you can pick up your pace if that works for you. You can keep it here, pausing for a moment when you come back if you need to, or you can pick up your pace. Or you can add in that single leg hop. That's an option too, breathing through it. We've got levels for everyone here. Take what you need today. Nice job. This is where you remember your why. Why did you show up for yourself today? Keep going. Go right to the end of the video. Make sure you subscribe. <laughs> Excellent job. Almost there. Breathe. In three, two, and one. Great job. Grab some water. So we're going to start with our legs together here in a narrow squat. So we're going to start in narrow squat, then step into the side wide, back to the center, back to the other side. Nice. Try to stay low here, breathing through this. Once you have the move, you can pick it up a little bit if it works for you to get that heart pumping. Nice. If you need to, you can come up and just a little squat down. Nice. Or you can pick up your pace. Nice job. Our active rest for this set is going to be a march in place or a little jog in place. Whatever feels best to you. So when we're done this move, we're coming into a march or a jog 
almost there, breathing, smiling, sweating, it hurts so good. In three, two, and one. Excellent job, shake that out a little bit into your march. Breathe here. So this is the move we're gonna come back to in between each of these blocks of work for set two. So this is where you get to catch your breath again. Nice deep breath in and exhale. Great job. You can always do a little jog if that feels better to you. Ooh, I am sweaty. Nice work, guys. Whatever you're doing with this active rest, let's make this intentional too. So if you're marching, keep those arms pumping. Nice job. Breathing here. Almost there. Nice deep breath in. And exhale. Good work. We're going to come into a hamstring curl next in three, two, and one. Hamstring curl, we're going to pull our leg up to kick our bum here, pulling our arms back to squeeze our back. Once you have the move, you can go a little faster. I'm just going to turn so you can see what I'm doing. Kicking my bum here, and again, once you have that move, you can add in a little bit of a hop to that if you want a little bit more intensity. Nice work. The hop, again, is optional. You can still move fast here, get a really good workout and good burn without jumping. So if you're here, that's great. Good place to be, feels good. Just keep moving. Nice. If you get tired and you need to tone it down, don't stop. Just turn it down a little bit. Tone it down, I mean. Ooh. Breathing through it. Always add in that hop. Mix and match. Even if you try the hop and it doesn't work for you, you can bring it back down. Nice work. Almost there. We're going to bring it back to that march in place in three, two, and one, nice job. Pump those arms. You got this. Intentional movement here. This is your active rest, but I still want you to move. The more you move, the more you burn, the better you're gonna feel later on. So proud of yourself for showing up and completing this video. Breathe through it. Nice work. Couple more moments here. We're gonna come into a low step back next. In three, two, I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see what I'm doing in one. We're gonna step it back really low, bring it back up. Other side, step it back really low, bring it back up. Once you've got the move, you can move a little faster here. Stepping it back, it's not quite a lunge, it's a deep step back using your arms for momentum and speed. If you want to, you can turn this up a little bit and turn it into a scissor jump. Again, totally optional. And if this is the first time that you've done this video, maybe you stay with all the low impact versions and that is perfectly fine. Excellent. Breathing here. Mix and match if you want to. Maybe challenge yourself just a little bit, then bring it back down. Just keep moving. We're almost there. Breathing. We're gonna come back to that march in just a moment. In three, two, and one. Nice job. Marching it out here, catching your breath again. Settling your heart rate just a little bit, wiping that sweat. Breathe. Nice work. Deep breath in. And exhale. Nice job. The next move is called the standing mountain climber. We're going to come into it in three, two, and one. So we're going to really reach up here, driving those knees up, pretending you're climbing up to the top of a mountain. This is the low impact version, but we're still working here. You can turn it up if you want to, and we're going to turn that into a high knee run. Here we go. Drive those knees up, core is tight. 
totally optional here to keep it low impact. Still working, still thinking about those abs every time you drive those knees up. Breathe through it. Excellent job. Almost there. Go team, here we go. In three, two, and one. Back to those marches or that little jog in place. And now we get a water break. Okay, we're all set for round two. We're gonna come into that narrow squat and wide squat to the side, back to the narrow squat and move it to the other side. Nice job, have a look down. You can still see your big toe. If you can't, let's adjust your stance. Make sure your chest is lifted here so we're not leaning forward in the squat. Chest is lifted, butt is down. Nice work. Maybe you can move a little faster here. Pick up the cardio piece. Nice. But if not, you always have that option to keep that squat not as deep. So more shallow squat here if you're looking for a lower intensity. Almost there. And then we get that active rest. It's always nice to know that we get a chance to catch our breath again and shake it out before we move into the next block of work. In three, two, and one. Nice job. So you're marching here, or you can add a little light jog. Whatever works for you. Breathing here. Catch your breath again. This is your active rest, so use it the way you need. If you really need to tone it down so that you can catch your breath, let's do that. Just keep moving. Breathe. This is still part of the workout. We're still working. We want to make sure that we keep moving the whole time. Breathe through it. Nice work. If you still have a lot of gas in the tank here, maybe you really drive those knees up a little bit and pump those arms in your march. Nice work. We're almost there. A few more breaths here. We're gonna come into our hamstring curl next. In three, two, and one. Here we go, pull those arms back. Kick your bum. We can keep it here, but maybe we can pick up the pace just a little bit here. The more you move, the more you burn. So if you still have a lot of gas in the tank, let's go. You can always add in that little hop if you want a little bit more out of this move. Again, totally optional. You can keep it here. This is a great workout move here. We're working our core, working our butt, working our arms, our back, everything. Nice job. Excellent work. Breathe through it. Active rest is coming soon. Almost there. Woo! You got this. In three, two, and one. Back to those marches. Oh my, I am sweaty. I hope you're sweaty too, but still smiling, still having a good time. Nice job. Should be very proud of yourselves for showing up today. Sometimes it takes a lot just to press play. But once you're here, I'm sure you're happy that you're here and you did this, especially when you're finished. You'll be proud of yourself that you showed up. So thank you for joining me. I appreciate you. Excellent job. We're gonna come in to those step backs in three, two, and one. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see what I'm doing. Long step backs here, pumping your arms, breathing through it. You got this. Again, if you want more out of this move, you can turn it in to a scissor jump. Adding a little bit of a hop here, bringing that heart rate up a little bit more. You can mix and match. Do a couple scissor jumps and then bring it back down. Again, that's an option. You can keep it low impact the whole time and you're still working. I'm still sweating. Breathe. Nice job. Almost there. 
get our active breaths next. In three, two, and one. Excellent job. Back to those marches or the light jog. Breathing here. Whip the sweat if you need to. Woo! We're almost there. One more block of work in this set, then we get a water break. Breathing here. In this together. Nice deep breath in. And exhale. Again, breathe it in. And exhale. Here we go. We're gonna climb a mountain together next. So let's come into those standing mountain climbers in three, two, and one. Let's go here, drive that knee up, reaching for the sky. Let's get to the top of that mountain. This is your personal mountain. Think about it. What mountain do you need to conquer? This is where you get there. Remember your why. Let's go, let's do this together. Get to the top of the mountain. If you get there first, you can help me up. Again, you can always add in that higher intensity run here if you want to. If you need more from this, it's there. Take it if you need it. Breathe. My only rule, two rules I guess, keep smiling and keep moving. Nice job. You got this. Can you go hard for the last few seconds here? I think you can. Pick it up a little bit. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Excellent work. Grab some water, and then we're gonna finish the final set. Okay, it's time for the third and final round. Let's come into those narrow squats, wide squats. Here we go. You know the move now. You know that this is the last round, the last four exercises of the workout. So maybe you can dig a little deeper here. Just keep moving. Chest is lifted, butt is down. Breathe here. You know you get an active rest after this. So I know your legs are burning, mine are burning. Hurts so good, here we go. Almost there, breathe. Woo, you got it. Breathe through it in three, two, one. Nice job, I got a hair in my mouth here. Here we go, march it out. Or you can add in that little bit of a jog. Whatever works for you. Those legs are on fire after all those squats. Nice job. Woo. Take some nice deep breaths here. And we're gonna come in to those hamstring curls next. One more deep breath here in this active rest. Breathe it in and exhale. Nice job. In three, two, and one. Hamstring curl, squeeze here. Maybe you can go a little faster than you did the last time, because you know this is the last time you have to do this move. So you can dig deep here. You can add in that little hop with this move if you want more from it. If you want a little more intensity, you can add that in. But again, totally optional. You can still move fast here, even without adding that hop. Breathing, sweating, and smiling. Woo! Go team, you guys are doing amazing, I'm sure. I can feel your energy. Whew, here we go, breathing through it. Almost there in three, two, and one. March it out, great work. No more hamstring curls. We only have two more exercises left, and then we get to cool down. Breathe here, and exhale. If you need to, you can always tone it down in this active rest to really catch your breath again. So you're well rested, you can come right into the next move, which is gonna be the step backs. Breathing here, one more deep breath in, and exhale. Nice job. In three, two, and one. We're gonna turn to the side here and do that long step back. 
Nice job. Using your arms for some momentum here. Moving as fast as you can safely. Checking in with your body and your breath if you need to tone it down and step it back and come back. That's okay too. If you can just keep going straight through, that's great. Or if you want to turn it up for the last round, you can turn it into a scissor jump. Breathe. Nice job. Go team. Excellent. You can always tone it back down if you need to. Just keep moving. Let's try to go hard for the last few seconds of this move. Then you get an active rest again. Then we only have one more move in three, two, and one. Nice job. March it out. Breathe. Catch your breath here. And exhale. Breathe it in. And exhale. Nice work. One more big deep breath in. And we're going to come back to those standing mountain climbers. I like to finish with this move because you're going to make it to the top of your mountain. Make it all the way to the end of this video. I know you can. Let's go. Breathe. Three, two, and one. Make it to the top of that mountain. Drive those knees up. Reach up high. If you need to tone it down a little bit, that's okay. You're still going to make it to the top of your mountain. Breathe here. Excellent job. If you want more from this move, you can turn it up. That's an option. It's not necessary. We can always keep it here. And that's great too. Look at me. I'm sweating. You got this. Let's make it to the top of this mountain though. Let's go. Dig deep wherever you're at. Breathe. You got it. Almost there, team. Then we get some water. We get to cool down. Make it to the end. Don't skip the cool down. Got to stretch at the end. Here we go. In three, two, and one. Oh, you made it. I'm sending virtual love to everyone. Big high fives. Great job. Grab some water, and then we're going to cool down. Okay, let's just take it into a side to side step here. We skyrocketed our heart rate. Our breath is probably a little erratic. So let's just let your breath do what it wants to do here for a moment. Step it out, just bring that heart rate down. And when you're ready, you can start to take a couple deep breaths here. Breathe it in and exhale. Nice job. You can start to slow this step down. Slow it down a little bit. Take it down. Let your body know that it's okay to relax now. So we're going to stretch. Nice job. Start to go side to side a little bit slower. And we're going to take a nice wide stance here. We're going to dive down here into a squat. Breathe in. And exhale, come back down again. Breathe it in. Biggest breath you've taken all day. Exhale. Breathe it in one last time. We're going to take it to a side stretch on an exhale. So stretching the side body here. You can look up towards that raised hand. We did a lot of side knee twists, high knee things. It's really important to stretch out that side body to protect yourself. It's great for the lower back as well, and the obliques. Exhale, big deep breath in, take it to the other side. Same thing, stretch it up, look up towards that raised hand, getting a nice stretch into the side body here. And exhale, we're gonna do some shoulder rolls here. Bring those shoulders up and drop them down. Bring them up all the way up and down. Nice slow rolls, but really pushing them up and then pushing them down away from your body, releasing any tension that you're holding in your shoulders, in your neck. Let's take it to the other direction. Forward, up, 
and push them down. That should feel really good. If you're like me, you might have a little, little bit of cracking happening here. And last one, and down. Nice job. Give a little wiggle here. We're gonna take nice, wide, open and close, stretching out the back here, breathing through this. Nice. Loosening up everything in your back and in your shoulders here. Nice job. You're gonna interlace your fingers in behind your back here, pull back, open up your chest, look up towards the ceiling and slightly pull those arms back. If you wanna get a little deeper into this, you can just hinge at the hips and bend forward a little bit. And release that. We're gonna do some lower body stretches now. Let's take our feet together here and you're going to hinge at the hips so bending forward and just going to dangle here you can hold on to your elbows if you want to and just sort of dangle from side to side i'll stand to the side so you can see here dangle from side to side you can have a slight bend in your legs if you want to you're feeling a little bit of a stretch here in your lower back and into the back of your legs dangle here side to side it's not about flexibility. Whatever feels good to you, that's what I want you to do. And then maybe you let go if you're holding your elbows and come down as low as you can here. So maybe that's grabbing onto the back of your shins or your ankles, or maybe you can grab onto your big toe and just slightly straighten those legs a little bit and feeling a deeper stretch into the low back and into the back of the legs breathing through this and exhale one more breath here breathe it in and exhale now we're gonna roll up really slowly vertebrae by vertebrae nice work take a nice wide squat stance here and we're going to push in on our inner thigh one of our arms, straightening out the elbow, getting a nice stretch into the shoulder and into the side body here, and even into the groin. Hold that for a moment. Now we're gonna take it to the other side. Same thing, pushing on the inner thigh, straightening out that arm, getting a nice stretch into that side, into the groin, into the shoulder. Nice job, you can release that. Hands down to the mat if you can, or just let them go as far as they can. And just gradually straighten out your legs. Maybe you dangle here a little bit if you can't quite touch the floor. And just feel that stretch into the outer legs again. And roll it up slowly. We're gonna end with some neck stretches here. Always wanna make sure we take care of our neck going to take your ear towards your shoulder here, getting a nice stretch into the side of the neck. And then back to center, same thing, other side, ear to the shoulder, stretching up the side. Don't be surprised if one side is a little bit tighter than the other. Back to center, look down towards the floor. And then up towards the ceiling. Great job, thank you so much for working out with me today. I hope that you are very proud of yourselves. I'm proud of you, thanks for showing up. Make sure you like this video and subscribe. It's going to help my content come to the top so I can keep making videos for everyone. Take care.